Hey, grade sevens. This is uh, math 1.2, reverse division. I want to give some mad props out to Nathan for showing us this in class today. It's pretty amazing. All right, here we go. Quite often in 1.2, you get a question like this. Find the greatest common factor and the lowest common multiple of a couple of numbers. So you get like 6 and 15. What you're going to be doing is you're going to be trying to find uh, a number that is a common factor between the two of them, and so you're looking at division. If you're doing multiples, you're looking at multiplication, so you're skip jumping. A really fast way to do this is what Nathan showed us today, which is our reverse division. So it's like an upside down division. And you ask yourself, what number can divide evenly into 6 and 15? And there definitely is one, which is 3. 3 divides evenly into 6, and it also divides evenly into 15. So what you do is you're going to draw a second division line beneath it, and you've got it over here. And you do 6 divided by 3, and the quotient goes right there, so 2. 15 divided by 3 is 5, and the quotient goes beneath it. You look at the 2 and the 5. There's no common factor between these two numbers, uh, other than 1, obviously. There's nothing greater than 1. So I can't do any more subdivisions of these two numbers. So we stop at this point, and the 3 that's on the left-hand side, that is the greatest common factor. So when you look at 6 and 15, if you list the factors of 6, you've got 1, 2, 3, uh, and 6. And then you look over at 15, you've got 1, 3, 5, and 15. The greatest common factor of the two is 3. For the low, uh, LCM, it's a really cool trick. You take your 3, you multiply it by the quotient of 6 divided by 3, which is 2, and by the quotient of 15 divided by 3, which is 5, or 3 times 2 times 5, and you get 30. And 30 is the LCM, or the lowest common multiple. Let's try it again with 18. So what number divides evenly into both 8 and 18? Obviously, it's 2. So what we're going to put beneath it, we're going to take 8 divided by 2, and we're going to put it beneath it. And we're going to take 18 divided by 2, and we'll put the quotient beneath it. So you've got 4 and 9. Now, can 4 and 9 be divided by another integer uh, with a whole quotient? And the, the answer is no. There's no other number that can divide it into them. So we're going to stop. And our greatest common factor is 2. How do we find the LCM? Just think about it for a second. You take this number, you multiply by that one, and you multiply by that one. So 2 times 4 times 9, 72. And 72 is the LCM of 8 and 18. A little bit larger numbers, a couple of double-digit numbers. There's two ways of approaching this. The first thing is they're both uh, even numbers, so we know that they can both be divided by 2. So you can do that. You got 18 and 24. The thing is, I can actually, these are also both even numbers, so I can subdivide this even further. I can divide something into both of these numbers, and again, it's 2. I can divide 18 by 2 and 24 by 2. So I put the quotients below. And then you ask yourself, is there another number that can be divided evenly into 9 and 12? And yes, there is. It's a 3. So now I've got 3 and 4, and again, th at this point, there's nothing else that can be divided evenly into 3 and 4. So I have a 2, a 2, and a 3 on the left-hand side. The greatest common factor in this case is 2 times 2 times 3, which is 12. That's the greatest common factor of 36 and 48. And if you did 36 and you listed out its factors, you'd see that 12 is in there and it's also part of 48. Now there is a faster way of doing this. Given this point right here, you could say, well, what number divides evenly into both 36 and 48? Well, 12 does. Uh, sorry, I'll move that over there. And you know that 12 divides in 3 times and 4 times. So you could skip right down to that step if you wanted to. Same process for the LCM. You take whatever's on the left-hand side, you multiply all of those numbers together, and you multiply by the remaining two numbers at the bottom. So it's 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 4, which is 144. This one's a little bit uh, trickier. So you're asking yourself, as always, what is a number that divides evenly into both 7 and 13? And you're thinking, well, I can't divide them by 2 because they're both odd numbers. Neither one is divisible by 3, uh, nor 4, nor 5. There's only one number, in fact, that can be divided evenly into these two numbers, and that's 1. And in this case, that means that 1 is the greatest common factor. I still carry out the division. I do 7 divided by 1 is 7. 13 divided by 1 is 13. So when I want to find my lowest common multiple, I still do the process of 1 times 7 times 13. 
and that gives me 91, and that's my LCM. Works every time. Thanks a lot, Nathan. Take care, guys.